He's waiting. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Love with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. And today I'm going to be talking about a 2019 Ventana 4037 model. Uh, as we go through this video, there's a couple of things I want to point out that we may not have talked about before. So if Cherish is ready, we'll get started. Get the stock number? Yeah, 5N180837. One thing uh, you might be able to notice, anybody who's watched these, this unit is aired up. I, I just brought it around a little while ago so you can see the chassis sits a little higher. It gives us a chance to really see how Numar protects the gas line right here with this steel plate. Uh, if you were to shred a tire or something, you don't want it to tear up your rubber gas line in there. So I like the way Numar really protects things. Okay, we've got some nice storage compartments. You can see a couple of Ottomans here. Uh, I didn't put them inside because I want to open up the bunk couch and the hide -a bed show you, so I thought I'd leave them out here for now. But you notice we do have a full pull-out tray here. Makes it easy to access the stuff you've got under the chassis rails there. As we move around, we see another storage compartment here. Uh, we also have our central vac. You know, you've got your controls for inside, but it's nice that you can bring it out here and clean your storage compartments. And as long as we're here, I'll touch on uh, what we call the Star Foundation once again. Numar builds a superstructure on all of their diesel motor homes. This gusset here, the framing, it supports your, uh, your compartments, the sidewalls. But if you notice, the, the floor joists don't set directly on the chassis rails. They're up a couple of inches. What that does is it, it prevents a lot of the twisting and tweaking of the frame, which could crack the tile or pop the grout. It just makes for a more stable platform so with all of the heavy residential refrigerators, the tile floor, you get a stronger support for it. I love the way Numar builds their chassis. Moving on back, nice little compartment maybe to hang tools. Uh, there is a water tank back here. That's why this is a smaller compartment. Uh, while we're here, I forgot to mention, we do have an outside TV. Uh, this is uh, a... Nice Sony with the Bose sound bar. That does pull out and tilt when you're out here watching it. It's a little cloudy today, so I didn't open up the awning, but it does have the nice Gerard awnings. Let's move to the back compartment. And here you can see your chassis batteries, and you do have a master disconnect for your batteries. One thing I just noticed, this is our Oasis fluid. It's a little bit low, but it's very easy to top that off. So we'll make sure uh, we get that into the shop and get that topped off. Moving around to the rear, this is a 400 horse, 8.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, you know, when you jump up to the 8.9, the big block engine, your torque goes up quite a bit. I believe it's 1,150 pounds on this one. Makes it much nicer when you're climbing in Colorado's mountains or maybe pulling a heavy load behind you. Uh, you do have a 15,000 pound hitch here. You can see right here you have access to your fluids, transmission fluid, engine oil dipsticks, engine fill. Here's your coolant fill. Uh, this is your vacuum gauge for your air filter. You want to keep an eye on this as it gets up into the red. 
probably means it's time to change your air filter. So everything you're going to need to do on the road, you can take care, take care of very easily right here in the rear. Let's move around to this side. We've got a couple of uh, narrower storage compartments here. And you notice a plug right here. What that's for is your engine preheat. So you can actually plug it in right there, uh, you know, if you're running off your generator or if you want to, you know, run a plug out from your garage to heat that engine, you can do it right there. And then over here we have our depth tank. Now there is a fill on the other, other side also. And you can see we've got a gauge here, also one on the dash. While we're right here and, and we've got a little room by our axles, I want to talk about another thing that, that really helps stabilize the ride in all these Numars. And actually we have to give credit to Freightliner for what they've done with their V-Ride, they call it. Now the V-Ride is a, a series of components starting with the, what they call the V-Rod connection, which connects your axle to the chassis rails in a V configuration and really helps make it much more rigid. You also have a, uh, a U-shaped, your trailing arm and your transverse beam are one big U-shape connected to the, uh, to the axle and the V-Ride assembly. What that does is it gives you a lot more lateral stability. If you've ever been riding behind a motorhome on a kind of a twisty road, and you see it go around a corner and it might tilt 10 or 15 degrees, that can be kind of scary, not only for the people inside, but for the people following them also. With the V-Ride connections, uh, the roll stability, you're not going to see that rolling. It's going to be a much more stable ride. They have heavy duty airbags and they also have uh, SACS custom tuned shocks. Freightliner actually goes out to Newmar and they tune each of those shocks for the individual floor plan. Uh, Saks, by the way, is a company that's owned by Rolls-Royce. So you put that all together with the heavy shocks, the, uh, the airbags, the V-Rod connector, your U-shaped trailing arm, it makes it a more stable and more comfortable ride. Also, you might notice there's a little difference between these two tires this is actually a steerable tag axle. So as you're you know, maneuvering it under 20 miles an hour, this will tilt 12 degrees. It really helps cut down on your turning radius and it prevents a lot of the scrubbing you get with tires, especially when you're, say, trying to back into a tight spot at a campground. Uh, you do get a little compartment here. Some people might put a, a sewer hose or maybe your gloves or you know things that you don't want to bring inside the coach. And then one other thing I'll point out, there is an adjustment nut right there. That has to do with your axle alignment and it allows a, a tech or a Freightliner shop to make those adjustments without using shims. So it's a much better uh, you know, set up than a lot of different chassis are going to have. Moving forward to the water compartment, power hose reel, that's always nice to have. You have a whole house water filter and then all of your tank fills and bypasses are right here. When it comes time to winterize it, if you're going to do it yourself, uh, you simply move your valves to the winterizing position, put this into your antifreeze and turn your pump on right here. That'll pull the antifreeze through your lines. You don't have to keep running back and forth into the coach to turn that pump on and off. Also you have your, your sewer rinse. This is nice for the black tank. It washes down the solid waste, helps keep it a little bit fresher. Moving up to the next compartment, you can see we have our 50 amp cord and again on a power wind, which is really nice when these are cold. They can get difficult to handle. You have a couple of uh, cable and satellite connections here also. And this right here 
is your transfer switch. And that has a built-in surge protector. Uh, a lot of people ask, do I need to get a surge protector? Because, you know, lightning or uh, low voltage or high voltage at a park could affect your electronics. Numar puts that in there for you. Up here we have our Oasis Hydronic Heating. So this provides your hot water, your furnace, uh, engine preheat, things like that. The Oasis is a cleaner burning system than some of the other uh, hydronic heatings and there's two electric elements in that instead of one. So you can, uh, you can get uh, good heating in colder temperatures with just your electricity with these. Again, this is your pass-through pull-out tray, uh, the mother-in-law suite, some people refer to it as. <laughs> and then here we have our eight AGM house batteries. It is on a pull-out slide tray. The fact that it has eight batteries tells me that this is going to have the induction and the residential refrigerator. The nice thing about that, number one, it eliminates the propane. You no longer have to worry about filling that up or if you're going to be, you know, out off the grid for more than a week running out of propane if you're cooking and taking showers and so forth. Again, you have a second uh, fuel fill over on this side. And like the other side, protected by a steel plate down here. Can't emphasize the importance of that. And then in this final compartment up front, uh, we have a lot of our chassis circuits and fuses here. And I like that Numar gives you replacement fuses for pretty much anything you would need. Uh, if you do happen to blow a fuse, that red light's gonna come on to indicate which one it is. So you don't have to go through and pull each fuse trying to figure out which one you need to replace. Okay, we do have a, a three-way camera system. You have side mount cameras on the side and of course a rear mount camera. Anytime you put your blinkers on or put the coach in reverse, the camera comes on automatically. Well, let's go inside and talk about a few of the features. Keyless entry, which is very nice and a very heavy duty grab handle. You know, some of them you pull on and you feel like you're gonna pull them right off, but not with the Numars. Come on inside. Uh, let me sit down here. I wanna take a few minutes and talk about some of the other things that make a Numar such a comfortable coach to drive. Uh, number one, as we go through our controls, you can see over here I do have my levelers. I can dump my airbag for that tag axle. What that does is takes the pressure off that rear axle. So as you're backing up, you're not scrubbing the tires as much. And plus it has that steerable tag, so it makes it much easier. You also have an engine brake, and this is a three-speed engine brake. It's actually a transmission retarder. Uh, you do have the, uh, the regular horn for somebody that's asleep at a stop sign, and if you really want to wake them up, you get the big horn. Transmission control here. We move over here. Uh, we have our battery boost, mirror control, but I want to point out this, this button here that says pedals. Now, I'm about 5'8", and I like to drive, and uh, I'm actually going to shut this, or turn this on. Do you want to shut the door? There we go. Okay, so like I said, I'm about 5'8". And I like to get back a little bit. You've got a, a pedal here where I can tilt the wheel, telescope it in and out. But uh, sometimes these pedals here, you know, if the guy is 6'4 that drove it last, my toes are barely touching the gas and the brakes. But I can bring that to me and find the spot that I find most comfortable. So they move out quite a ways. That's probably a little too much, so put it back. There we go. 
So this is a nice, comfortable driving position for me. You can drop your armrest down. And now I want to talk just a little bit about the Numar Comfort Steer. A lot of people ask what that is. Well, it's a, uh, it's a computerized steering system that is sensing the inputs and it helps keep the steering wheel in the center. How many times have you been driving somewhere and you've got a real crowned road or maybe a strong crosswind and you're actually driving like this. You're fighting that wind. Not only are you wrestling to keep it on the road, but it's, it makes it a lot more tense. A white knuckle drive, some people call it. Well, with this comfort drive, and I have an adjustment right here, uh, I'm going to adjust this down. It, it actually affects the resistance on the wheel. So let's say uh, I'm maneuvering into a tight campground. I'm, I'm looking at my parking spot. I'm going to back it in. I'm sitting here without moving all of the weight on the front tires. We don't have our jacks down. And with one finger, I can turn this with ease all the way. Now, got somebody back there who says, come on straight back. Just let go of the wheel. It comes back on its own every time. So after a, a four or six hour drive and say a gas coach or another diesel, you know, you're, you're fighting the road, you're trying to keep it in the middle of your lane, it can really start to tire you out. With the comfort steer, it's gonna be a much more enjoyable drive. Now, when I do get on the highway, I'm probably turning this up to three and a half or four. It, it tightens the resistance a little bit on the steering wheel more, but it doesn't affect the, uh, the comfort steer itself as far as bringing that wheel back to the center position every time. This is a great feature, and I think Numar is the only one that has her right now. Great benefits of a Numar coach. Uh, also, you know, a few other things. You do have your your cell phone charger right here. You have your shade. Now, while the engine is on, this, you know, you don't want to go down and block your view with it. But maybe you just need a little bit of a, a screen. You don't need the blackout. So you have both. You can see I've got a my rear camera is on right here. This uh, monitor here would handle your radio, your navigation, uh, other things like that. You do get a, a uh, SIM card here that is upgradable. It's got the Rand McNally maps. Every so often you might want to pop that out, go to your computer, go to Rand McNally, get the new upgrade. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get out of here and I'm going to open the slides up. Now, Numar puts most everything in a central control panel right here. And as you can see, I'm going to oops, run them out, not in. Is my. There we go. All right, here, get a shot of the of the passenger seat. This seat, in fact, I'll, I'll sit there and uh, demonstrate it and as soon as I get this slide out. One of the nice things about traveling in a Class A motorhome is the view you get. It's a comfortable drive, you're sitting up above everybody, but a lot of people, uh, you know, need to work while they're on the road or maybe want to get on their laptop for one thing or another. There we go. And this is a, a great seat for that. Number one, you know, I'll, I'll get it adjusted to the right height. And I might want to drop this down, move it back a little bit. And then I have a nice workstation. So as I'm going down the road, you know, maybe just doing my crossword puzzle or, you know, working on my computer. The uh, 
The passenger can be very comfortable. You do have a step well cover there. You also have a footrest. That's kind of nice. Uh, you know, put your feet up while you're driving. The driver's side also has a footrest, but it'll only come out when uh, the engine's off and you've got that chair turned around. Otherwise, you know, the, that footrest won't move. Let me get some lights on, and with this multiplex system, two buttons I can turn on all of your main uh, ceiling lights. And one of the things about this coach that makes it different uh, than a lot of them is a sleeping situation. What we have here is called the bunk couch, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So a lot of families are looking for bunk houses, uh, maybe not want to give up the extra space. This gives you an extra sleeper, and it's very easy to convert. You pop that up, and then there's your safety rail. Put your sidewalls up. There we go. You can see you have two bunks. You know, you'd actually remove these cushions, but you have two bunks here. But that's not all you have. There's also what we call a fold and tumble. And this one pulls out very easily. Drop this down. And you can see you've got an air mattress there with a 110 pump on it. So it fills up very fast and it deflates very fast. So you can see it didn't take me long at all to set these up when it does come to time to, to put the kids to bed. Uh, you've got sleeping actually for six here. Room on the floor if you need more than that. When it's time to uh, get back on the road, very simple to... Put that back down. I'll come over to my bunk couch. Drop the walls. And there we go. Now we're ready for travel once I run the slides in. Very nice feature, extra sleeping. You won't find that in a lot of coaches. Uh, let's move on back a little bit. Here in the kitchen, we do have a nice countertop extension. Gives you some extra prep space. You can see it is the induction cook surface. And again, this actually pulls out so you could take it outside and cook out under your awning. When you get the uh, all-electric package, the induction cook surface, residential uh, refrigerator, they give you extra batteries, bigger inverters, so it's easy to dry camp for quite a while in a coach like this. You have the double stainless steel sink with residential style fixtures. And uh, this floor plan actually gives you a nice little appliance garage with a plug there. So, you know, you get your toaster, your coffee maker, you can put it out of the way, drop that garage, you don't have to worry about finding a spot for them, but it still leaves you a lot of counter space when you're preparing a meal. Here we have our dinette booth and this particular one, first of all, you do have a couple of storage drawers that are quite deep. This has two leafs that pull out, and they actually come out quite a ways. So if you do have six of you uh, here for dinner, all you need to do is come over, grab one of your chairs. You've got two of them back here. And you can see that it's the same pattern as the rest of the coach. You can take them out under your awning. Just really nice to have some comfortable padded folding chairs 
that when you don't need them, get out of the way very quick and easy. I'm going to run this slide out while I'm here. and You might want to get a shot. You can see the, uh, the storage under here. And there's your two leaves. So there's plenty of room for bedding or, you know, other things. King bed. Let me get some of the lights on back here. Yeah. So this is your 19.7 uh, cubic feet uh, Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Plenty of room there with ice maker. These uh, residential refrigerators have become so efficient that it's practical to run them off your off your batteries and inverter now. You don't have to have that propane uh, RV style refrigerator. You also have a half bath here and uh, one of the other nice features that Numar does in this panel here it's your circuit breakers and fuses so it makes it easy to access. As I mentioned, this is a 2019 model. You might want to get a shot of uh, the MSRP and option sheet. Uh, we're very motivated on this model, as we are on all of our 2019s. So if anybody's interested, I, I urge you to contact us. Uh, Michael and Cody, if you're listening in today, I hope you are. Uh, this might be the coach for you. We're ready to make a deal. Let's move back into the bedroom bathroom area. You have a couple of nice shirt closets here. Always nice to have extra wardrobe storage. Six deep drawers for storage in here. And of course a TV. You have your, uh, your day night shades. That must be electric. Another thing you might want to notice I'm going to talk about in the bathroom. This is an emergency exit. Every coach is required to have a window that, you know, in case of a fire, you can get out of quite easily. But, boy, that's a long drop down to the pavement if you have to get out that way. I'll show you. Uh, Numar actually builds in an egress door behind the toilet, which is a very nice safety feature. You have pedestals on both sides of the bed with plugs, so anybody with a CPAP or sleep machine makes it very convenient. You don't have to decide who's on which side of the bed. And then you do have some of your light controls and so forth up underneath. Back here in the bathroom, uh, of course, you do have your own lighting, and one of the things, they've got a, a dimmer on this because everybody needs a little mood lighting when they're showering or <laughs> going to the bathroom. Uh, this is a nice uh, shower with what they call the water miser or the aqua view. That's a system where when you're waiting for your water to heat up, that's going down into the gray tank. Number one, you're wasting fresh water and you're filling your gray tank. With the water miser system that'll recirculate the water into the fresh water holding tank until it's hot. Then the light comes on to indicate that it's ready. You turn a switch then you can take your shower or even use your uh, sprayer. You've got a separate sprayer there. But it's just again a way to save water. You're not going to be dumping your gray tank quite as often. 
another feature that Numara's put on pretty much all of their diesels. And then right here, we have that egress door. So this pops out, and I'm not gonna drop the ladder down. We've done it in other videos if you wanna see them. I encourage you to look, but pull this panel off, the ladder drops down. I happen to have compartment doors under uh, open it right now, and I don't wanna drop it down. But as you're going out, you can even get rid of this if you want to. It comes off quite easily, so if you're a larger person and need that extra room, no problem getting that off. Oops. There we go. Over here we have our stackable washer and dryer. On a 40-footer, typically you're only going to get a single sink. When you get to the 43 and up, it's probably going to be a double sink. But uh, you do have good storage here. A nice, large medicine chest. And then you have more wardrobe storage in this one. And you can see there's a built-in safe there. Okay. I even like the, uh, the fascias have some nice accent lighting. Uh, at night, you might want to turn off your ceiling lights and just have your, your accent lights on. Another thing that I meant to point out when we were here in the kitchen, Numar thinks about <laughs> where am I going to put my trash bin. So right there it is. These are all your manuals and warranties and so forth. Uh, what more is there? You know, again, a whirlpool, convection microwave. Most of these coaches aren't going to have ovens anymore. Uh, you'll probably notice that over the last five or eight years or more, but they do give you a convection microwave. Again, I love the kitchen. The amount of room you get here with your little extension, it's very easy to cook a big meal. Once again, my name's Mark Love. Uh, if you'd like to uh, get a hold of me, you can call me directly at 303-684-3429 or email me at mlove, L-O-V-E, -E, at transwest.com. Uh, Colorado is kind of opening up a little bit more. We are getting busier. However, we are still very conscious of uh, sanitizing coaches and, uh, you know, being aware that some people may be a little bit more at risk. So uh, we will wear masks. We can uh, do a video walkthrough for you if you don't want to come out in person. So if there's any of our coaches you want to see or if you want to get a really good deal on a 2019 model, please uh, contact us. And uh, thank you once again for tuning in today.